Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be looking over the current game passes in this uh, beautiful game, Criminality. Uh, we're going to be starting off with the first game pass, and probably the most important one you actually want to like buy is the uh, Prime game pass. It basically just gives you access to a um, standard game mode, which is basically like the best way to level up in the game right now since uh, competitive is gone. But uh, it also awards ten thousand. Log in, like for the first time after you bought it, so like let's get a free 10k from it for like 50 dollars or 50 robux. So it's basically a steal. I just like probably the best one out of every game pass. You probably want to. Oh, there's just a fucking like eradicator in the stealer. Okay. The second game pass we're gonna be reviewing is the uh, Knuckle Dusters game pass. It costs like 300, like 25 Robux. Is this? It's always going to be available. It's basically just an upgraded fist. So I got dummies of everything, like without armor and all the way up to tier three. And we're going to see how many hits it takes to down each one. So um, one, two, three. One, two, three. It's going to take six hits to down that dummy. And for tier one, it's going to be three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is gonna be nine hisses out of tier one. Also, it does considerable like limb damage because you heard that like one of the limbs got fractured. Now for the tier two, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hisses down the tier two. Uh, just knuckle duster so if like the guy you're fighting is really dog shit that might work and now for the tier 3 it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's 15 hits is down of tier 3 with just knuckle dusters. So I won't really say this is worth it in the current meta. It used to be like more viable when you're rushing down to like the old vibe check back in 1.1 and you have like just knuckle dust so you want to waste like the people in there's like ammo. But right now like it's not really that good for like playing in standard. I wouldn't really say it's worth it. Next up, we have the Radio Game Pass, which is uh, 200 Robux, I believe, and it's just that it has, like, you can play music, you can pause it, play it, I don't really care about this, ever since the audio update that, like, deleted all the audio, it's not really, like, worth it, so. <laughs> Next up will be the first Steamote pack, and probably the last one, because they haven't, like, made another one ever since, like... The release. So by default, you have like four extra emotes. You have sit. You have dance four. Uh, fuck. Dance five. Dance uh, six. But with the game pass, you can also have uh, Billy. Uh, fuck. Billy. You can have Chrono. Which, uh, a part of this emote got removed because, uh, people were using it for, uh, let's just say stuff. And then we have the sponge. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. And then we have the twist. Probably the most, the one you'll see most people using. And then we have the, uh, gothic, or whatever. We have the Soviet one. It's just part of a pack. So I could, but I don't know how to say it. It's a kick. And then we have Drip. We have a Thriller. And then we have Shuffle. And then we have Stomp. And then we have Hustle. And then we have Soviet 2. Which is uh, kind of part of like the other thing. So it's just everything in the emo pack. Uh, pretty good. If you just want to like vibe and casual, I'd probably recommend this. 
Next up is the cosmetic storage pack. So basically, it just adds more like places for your skins to be. So if you see, I have like a max of 50 skins I can have. Also check this out. But if you purchase that game pass, you'll have like 150, so you can like just spam open crates more. I wouldn't say it's worth it because most of the time you're just gonna be like selling the duplicate. Oh fuck, duplicate like dog shit like this. Um, maybe if you just want to spam open crates and not be interrupted, but I wouldn't say it's worth the price tag for that purpose. Next up, we have the uh, Nunchuck Game Pass, which is actually uh, off sale right now, so for me it's free, but it's off sale right now. So it has a little combo, and it's a little better than the Knuckle Dusters. The combo is kind of like buggy. So it's combo. Let me just spawn another. Let me just spawn another dummy. And it has a combo where on the third hit, it will knock down if I can actually like, activate it. But it will apply stun, it's not really that good right now because it's just shit. So I'm going to test how many hits it takes to down all the armor types. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that was a stun. 7. So it's 7 hits to down the normal dude with the nunchucks, so it's actually kind of worse. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 hits to down the tier 1. Nope. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 hits to down the tier 2, so it's I actually like really shit. Well, I'm gonna use, uh, uh. So for tier 3, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 hits to down the tier 3 with the nunchuck. So the only good thing about it is like the combo, dude, and that's kind of shit. So I wouldn't say like it's really worth it. Just if you want to like flex to people that you've had this, I'm pretty sure it was only available during 1.2, like the early part of 1.2, so. Next up, we have the extra income game pass, which gives you 50% uh, extra income and XP from uh, these ATMs when you have your allowance, so it just happened, so. You also join the group for a 10% bonus, and the premium players get a 30% bonus. I'm not premium right now, so I only get like a 60% bonus. So I get I know, 60 bucks from that. So I'm really. I mean, it's worth if you're just like grinding casual for like XP, but that's about it. <laughs> Next up, we have the Hollows on Shore Mark II, which, uh. Okay, there. It's um, not really a weapon, more of it's just a little gadget, so I'm going to spawn like a dummy, and if you shoot it like his feet, it'll, like fly up in the air and break like his bones in like actual standard. So let's do it again, and it won't like affect any armor type that's above like tier 1, I think. Yeah. So, the launcher does like 20 damage on a direct hit. It's not that good as a weapon, but it's kind of fun to fling people with. Next up, we have the Soma Launcher Mark II, which is for the second winter update of this game uh, in like 2022. So, this one is way more viable as an actual weapon. It's 24 snowballs and great in reserve. It um, got its reserve after the update ended, but basically, it's just like a fun like gimmick weapon. But I'm gonna test it on all the armor types, see how well it does. I'm pretty sure it's gonna down the full max, so like this. Uh, it's not really good. Um, 
I'm not even gonna test on these guys. This is so much. It's gonna take me too much time. Yeah, that's basically the uh, launcher. Summer pen is like dog shit. So let's see how much it does to this guy. Nothing. It does absolutely nothing. So I guess it's just kind of funny to play with friends. Next up, we have the Armory or Weapon Regain Pass. I'm pretty sure this is uh, 450 Robux, and you can get like a bunch of weapons at a really like, early game. So you get the FMP, the Super Shorty, the G18, the Revolver, the MP7, the Ump, the M4, the Foul, the Scout, the M320, and the BFG is uh, something you can unlock. Like, it's not really like an um, exclusive. So. You just gear up, all this good stuff, and go to town on the server. It's good for like early games, so you don't have to like just like have really dog shit weapons. So these weapons are pretty good, and I'd say it's worth a buy. Honestly, it's kind of like the uh, SWAT game pass from. Uh, Prison, like you guys didn't remember that, but it's pretty good. So, definitely a buy, definitely. And that's about it. If you suck that game, if you suck that game, you dumbass bitch. And now we're on to my personal favorite game pass, the private server plus game pass. So, this will give you like everything you can choose on the private server and more. So, you have all the game modes, even infection. So, one, two, three, and four. You have four game modes. One is a really cool one, Infection. You have every single map that was ever here, even the Infection map. So like the old public dev server map, the alpha map, the 1.2 map, and the 1.3 map. You can choose if it's only prime plays, to load data, to unlock everything, to have event items like the crucible, extra stocks or infinite stocks, like infinite cash or no cash, extra scraps or to remove like BFG, the legacy downing and casual, uh, no incognito which disables the random names, no inventories which uh, basically means they don't load data, and um, if it removes scraps from the map or Removes bounties, or removes cash dropping, or removes game pass items, or forces random names, random avatars, or the legacy scraps from like 1.2, or just no guns at all, just melee only. So, you have a lot of customization options for this, so, probably a buy. It was like 1k back when it was out, I don't know if they're going to relist it, but I hope they do. So I'm sorry I didn't review the Snowball Launcher, like the first one, but I never bought it during like the first winter update because I was like poor at the time. So uh, sorry about that. But it's basically it's just Snowball Launcher Mark II, but let's say MO does a bit more damage and uh, has only like automatic and it has semi. And not just automatic and burst.